door to die. Oh, Mrs. Mellon, he's face down to here. What are you talking about? I'm trying to tell you, Aunt Dad. There was this chap, and there was our Dennis. <laughs> trying to look like nice errands. <laughs> oh, very funny. <laughs> Go on, sit down. There's plenty of room in two and nine. Excuse me if I don't laugh. Well, where's your sense of humor? Not the same place as yours. <laughs> Now, just tell me this is funny. I'm coming home from club early one night and I see a couple of lads beating the fella up. So I helps this fella and I brings him home just to patch him up like. It's the laugh of the year, isn't it? You helped him? Well, sure up, that's not the funny part about it. Well, I get talking to this fella, you see, and I make him a cup of tea. And I ask him why this teddy boy's We're beating him up for the day. Don't interrupt her. This is her big moment. <laughs> Do you know who what? Who? This fella. How should she be? <laughs> it was a detective. A what? A detective, you know, a copper in a trilby <laughs> And you help one of them. Why not? Go on, tell me, why not? What do you expect me to do? Ask him who he is before I give him help in hand. You're as bad as she is. Hey, hey, do you think they'll give him a police medal? <laughs> hey, sure up, will you? I think it's very fine of Dennis to help a detective. But I can't see the show. Oh, hey, what? wouldn't it be a laugh if I did get a police medal? <laughs> Go on, throw the tea. <laughs> What was he like, this fella? Oh, Arthur. Oh, did you hear that? Arthur. Mm. Well, you don't expect him to call him by his number, do you? There's a bit of a difference between a number and a first name. All oh, right, Miss Clever. He was very friendly for oh, once. Oh, one of them, eh? Look, do you want to hear him about or don't you? Yeah. Well, hold your rush for a minute. He was very nice and very polite and very charming. And if you're lucky, you may get the chance of seeing him again because he asked me if he could call again. He what? Well, yes, he asked me if he could call again, and I said he could. Hey, hang on. Saving him from a good idea is one thing. serious. Well, of course I'm serious. I'm entitled to a gentleman friend if I want one. Well, you've already got one. What about this chap who went out with on Saturday? Oh, Anne, he's all talking. Well, that's all you want before you get your divorce. Too. Look, madam, I know the law better than you are, do, and I'll tell you one thing. I know how to behave myself until I'm absolute. Hey, how'd you like the, the idea of calling a detective dad? Do you mind? <laughs> Well, come on, you've had a day to think about it. Which job is it to be? Well, I'm not quite sure what you mean, Nina. You know very well what I mean, so don't try and kid yourself on. All I'm asking is, which of my friends is going to suck me in the hour of need? Well, it's well, not that I speak would... at once, will you? Not that I wouldn't like to, either. It doesn't worry me one little bit whether you would or would not like to. All I want to know is, you will you or won't you? Nina, it's not as easy as all that. Seems quite plain and simple to me. Yeah, I do wish you hadn't asked me. Well, I have asked you, so to try and put your mind on to it. Anyway, I'll come back to you later. What about you? Well, there's nothing I'd like better, either. Oh, you needn't tell me. I know what's coming. I would if I could, but I can't. Well, what's your problem? Well, it's my mother, you see. Your mother? What's your mother got to do with this? Well, she's older than I am. You don't say. She must be 90 if she's a day. She's 87. You never told me you'd got a mother. Oh, yes, I have. Well, what's she got to do with it? Well, she sleeps in the spare bed, and we haven't another. Well, all that interests me is a roof over my head, and it might surprise you to know that I've got a bed of my own. So you can cross that off your list of excuses. It's interior sprung and a walnut bedded, and it's paid for. But we haven't the room, Ina. So you're turning me out, are you? Come on. Come out with it. You won't hurt my feelings. I'm becoming accustomed to being stabbed in the back by my so-called friend. Oh, I wouldn't put it like that, Ina. I don't know how else you could put it. What have you got to say for yourself? Oh, Ina, don't be like that. Who else can I be? A poor old woman turned out of her house after long and faithful service be a couple of wet hens that don't know a shirt from a surf. Oh, Ina. Deserted by her friends. I said deserted by her friends. Oh, I just know what they'd be saying. That mini Caldwell, they'll say. Though, mind you, there is some excuse for her on account of her mother. But as for Martha Longhurst, <laughs> Well, of course, she told us straight out she just have to apply at the workhouse. He knew you wouldn't put a thing like that about. Why not? It's true, isn't it? You haven't given me one decent excuse. Yes, don't tell me you can't do no better than that. Well, it's like I said, Ina. It's not that I don't want Martha to. Longest, if you say that once more, I'll... Oh, very well. I'll bid you farewell, then. Oh, you can't go like that. Can't I? Uh? I'll show you whether I can't or not. I'll just slip into the public on my way out and say my goodbyes. <laughs> oh, well, perhaps I could manage it for a week or two. Right. And the sooner I'm out of that place, the better. So if it's all right to you, shall we say the day after tomorrow?
Well, we'll be glad of the help. What do you say, Annie? Well, I most certainly will. It wouldn't be so bad if we could rely on our Billy, but he's in and out like a jack-in-the-box these days. You know what these young men are, Arvin? What does the missus think about it, Arvin? It's all right with her. Good. Well, when can you start, then? Any time you say. Well, there's no time like the present, you know. Jack Walker, how can you say that? How can he possibly start tonight with Linda sitting there? I don't think she'll mind. I ask her. Well, I reckon this is going to be a very good arrangement, don't you? Sure it is. But if you think it's going to give you more time to stand there propping up the bar, you can think again. And we could do with another crate of light ales up before long, if you don't mind. Well? You seem to want me to start. Well, come on, then. Do your stuff. Do what? My stuff? Take those glasses to the bar. Oh, yes. Yes, ma'am. Of course. And while you're there, I'll have a small port. Do you think you should? Why not, may I ask? What about the baby? It's spirit, silly. Anyway, it's only one. Yes, madam, sis. Hey! Have you forgotten something? The glasses. Oh! Hello. All on your own? Yeah. What's yeah. I've up to? I'll be back in a minute. Where have you two been? Where you left us? Where do you think we've been? What do you think about our local, Mr. Dewar? Well, it's just what I like. But the name's Arthur. You ask your sister. Oh, honest. <laughs> if you want to be really nice to me, you can buy me a drink. What is it? Gin and tonic? There's a clever lad. Yeah. How about you, love? Oh, it's all right, thanks. Ivan's bringing me one in. Right. Well, don't run away, will you? You wouldn't like to put the handcuffs on us to make certain, would you? Well, <laughs> well you know what I mean. <laughs> Do you know what he means? I think I do. I'm beginning to think I do, too. Oh, don't get on. You know you like it. I'm not so sure about that. Anyway, it does make a nice change. Here, what do you think you're playing at? Madam. What are you doing? Here, give me that. I'm let writing me. the paper. Well, let me do no, it. don't do that. You're losing his job. His job? Do you mean to say you've started already? Well, you haven't wasted much time, have you? Go on, get on with it. Let's see it. Oh, that'll do very nicely, thank you. Thank you, <laughs> that lad's missed his vacation, you know. He'd be lovely in his little business of his own with a white coat, you know, chucking his medums about all over the place. Oh, lovely. It'd be nice to see him in a little restaurant in town where I could bring the girls in from the shop, you Mom, know. Stop dreaming. Eh? I said, stop dreaming. Oh, no. What's up? See that fellow that's just come in? The one looks like he doesn't know his way around. That's it. That's Walter Fletcher, the salesman from the shop, the one I went out with the other week. Oh, oh dear me. Oh, what's wrong, for heaven's sake? What's wrong? He's looking for me, that's what's wrong. Oh. You haven't touched your stout, Ina. I'm thinking. I'm in your room. The sideboard's opposite the fireplace. What's under the window? The sofa. Not as much. It'll have to go. Have to go? What for will it have to go? Well, if you think that my sofa can live in the same room as your sofa, it proves what I've long suspected. You've got no taste. My sofa's very nice. I bought my sofa from the Cowleys who used to live in Beagle Street. They had connections. They knew what was what, if anybody ever did. Oh, we'd like you to have it, Mrs. Sharples. We wouldn't feel happy if it went to somebody who didn't appreciate it. That was what they said. Doesn't look all that special to me. What, a beautiful thing like my sofa? If I was you, I wouldn't show me ignorance. Well, what am I supposed to do with my sofa? Well, it can go up into the bedroom, can't it? You put visitors up on it. I don't have visitors. Well, it's time you did living alone in that place. But anyway, we'll talk about that later. I'd like to move in on Friday. The sooner I've stopped being beholden to that lot, the better. Mind you, we don't like doing it if we can help it. I said we don't like doing it if we can help it. Uh, I'm sure you do. I said we don't. Oh, well, you don't. Whatever you said. Yeah, she always like this. Oh, she goes off a bit from time to time. She always was a bit of a dreamer. Am I echoes like a dreamer? Boo! Stop it, will you? Well, I think we're ready for another drink now, aren't we? Same again. Oh, not for me if you don't mind. I'll have my husband after me. Elsie. I'll have a Bloody Mary if you don't mind. It's all right. I just fancy something different for a change. Just as you say, dear. <laughs> Are you all right, dear? You know what you're asking for, and you'll get it in a minute. Call Ivan over here, will you? Hey, Ivan! Yes. Ivan, um, you see that fellow that's standing by the bar? Don't turn around, you're softing, you'll see you. How can I see which you better turn around? Miss him, he sticks out like a sore thumb. He's a sore thumb? Oh, it's not my day, is it? The one in the hat, love. Oh, yes, I know. Yeah. Well, I want to get rid of him. I want him off the premises. How? It's one of Mum's old boyfriends. They tell him that Arthur's a wrestler. <laughs> hey, yep, Arthur's coming back. I think it's something. <coughs> nice evening. Very nice, yes. I uh, see Elsie Tanner's over there. Elsie Tanner? Oh, yes, Elsie Tanner. She comes here often. Do you know her? She's a friend of mine. Mm. See, uh, 
Who's that with it? What yeah. uh, it, It's her husband. Husband? Mm -hmm. I thought they were separated. Are you sure about that? Oh, yes, of course. Well, I'm damned. Elsie Tanner. Would you like, like to go and sit with them, Me? Not on your life. I'm going. Good night. Well, now we can enjoy ourselves in peace, can't we? <laughs> Drink off. Oh, well, I'm just going out out of Hewitt's to have a look at his whippets. He asked me not to go round till his bairn had got to bed. You know what they're like when it uh, comes to parting with pets. He's not parting with his whippets, is he? Well, I reckon they're mine if I want them. And from what Frank Barlow said and what I've been told, I reckon they're worth having and all. Oh, I thought we might have got a pictures like. Oh, no, I don't feel like it. You know what you want, don't you? You want to... You want a nice surprise, you know, to book you up. Well, come on, let's have it. I must say I could do with one. Well, I'm uh, buying a car. Are you all right? Suppose it hasn't crossed your mind that we'll need every penny we have to get settled. Oh, well, I may as well know the worst. How much was it? Only 40 pounds. Only 40 pounds? Well, that's 40 pounds down the drain, because at that price it won't last 10 minutes. You know, I don't suppose it never crossed your mind to tell me. It takes two to make a marriage, you know. Listen, what are you talking about marriage for? We're not engaged yet. Oh, look, love. Look, it, 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 it's your birthday on April the 19th. What about getting engaged then, eh? Well, I suppose it's as good as theirs any, really. Well, you, you might sound a bit more happy oh, about well, it. Oh, I'll get a Let's talk about it tomorrow, eh? Why can't we settle it now? Oh, I don't know. I'm going to have a right evening with you like this, aren't well, I? Well, I'm very sorry, but I'm not enjoying it. Look, why don't you go to pictures? Because I'm not fit for anybody's company tonight. Well, if you feel like that about it, well... Oh, yeah, well. stop. Why don't you grow up? Look, I'll meet you tomorrow night at Rover's return. You go in about seven and I'll come in a few minutes later. And don't be late, please, because I don't like waiting in there on my own. All right? Looks as if it'll have to be, doesn't it? Tra. Tra. <laughs> oh, give over. <laughs> Yes, ma'am. Oh, oh, it's nice to know we can have a good giggle, though. You do do it nice, though, love. It does, doesn't it? Eh? Madam, it's very kind. Oh, dry up, will you? Hey, Ivan, you never told me how you got rid of Walter Fletcher. Walter Fletcher? Do I know him? <laughs> Old dog's body at the Rovers. Oh, him. It was very easy. I just told him he upsets the customers the way he looks. Oh, come off it, Ivan. Walter Fletcher's not as easy to get rid of as all that. Now, what did you say? I told him you were with your husband. You what? I put another that Arthur was your husband. Clever, huh? Oh, I kiss something. That doesn't put the cat among the pigeons. Cat among the pigeons? Which means you made a muck up of it, love. You, you went? Yeah, I know, but you weren't to know, love. But that was the salesman that comes into our shop from time to time. Now, before I stick my head round that door at nine o'clock tomorrow, the whole shop will know my husband's come back after 15 years. Oh, if that doesn't finish my get out, I don't know what does. Now, perhaps you'll tell me a way to talk my way out of this one, eh? Kicking the skirting board, you'll knock all the paint off. Are you kidding? I've been painted for years. Oh, well, that's no excuse. It might be painted before long, so you'd better get in a bit of practice. What we haven't it painted for? Well, your Aunt Alice mentioned it. I thought so. And what's that supposed to mean? Oh, nothing, nothing. Hmm. Uh, are you going to town this month? I might. No, I don't know why. I want to show you a shop up Beagle Street. What makes you think I'll be interested in a shop up Beagle Street? Because I want you to look at it. All right, let's have it. What's it all about? We've got a sewing set in window. Oh, so you want a sewing set? Yeah. Is that all? Yeah. You wouldn't like a cooking set as well, would you? I wouldn't mind. You thinking of setting yourself up as a housekeeper or something? I might be. Hmm. No, you're going to keep house for? Me, for instance? I might be. All right, well, in about five years' time, I might take you up on it. But until you've left school, things are better the way they are, aren't they? So, you won't come and look up shop? <sighs> well, I, I can't, love. I'm, uh, I'm expecting a chap to call. I suppose that'll be the one that's coming to take dogs away. What do you know about that? Because of me Auntie Alice, isn't it? No, it isn't because of your Auntie Alice. I've been thinking of it for some time. Look, uh, do you really want that sewing set? Of course I do. Well, how much is it? I don't know. It hasn't got a price on. Shall we ask? All right, go and ask. If it's not more than five, Bob, you can have it. Here, wait a minute. 
Hey. When you get back, there's a shirt of mine on the bed upstairs. Want some buttons sewing on? Right, yeah. Lucille looks very pleased with herself. Uh, she wanted a sewing set, so I sent her off to get it. I wanted her out of the way. I've got a chap coming for the dogs any minute. You're not giving them away. Giving them away? You should think not. I'm selling them. Look, he'll be here any minute, so uh, I'd better get him out so he can take him straight off. She'll raise Cain if uh, she sees him going. Well, that'll be him now. Will you go and let him in? I'll get the dogs through. Oh, hello. Is uh, Harry? Uh, yes, will you come in? Thank you. Uh, you've come for the dogs, I suppose. Ah, that's right. Well, uh, will you go through? Oh, thank you. In here. Thank you. That's all right. Uh, uh, sit down, will you? Thank you. You must like dogs. Well, I like whippets. Oh, is there a difference? Well, Alice. Oh, hello, Alice. Alice, sir, have you moved down there? Little Devil's locked the door and uh, taken the key with her. I put it in the scullery table drawer. All oh, right, then. What are you going to do? I'll have to break the lock. Yeah, well, I'll come back later if it's not convenient. You sit where you are, Ralph. Roberts, it won't take me two seconds to let him out. <laughs> Harry wants to get them away before my niece comes back. She's rather upset about it. Ah, well, kid is all alike when it comes to animals, you know. Mm. Mine are just the same. Oh. Hi. Still, I'm, I'm sure you'll be able to give them a good home. Oh, I'll have a good home, never you fear. I'd be very comfortable in our kitchen. In the kitchen? That's right. Well, it's warmer there from you, see. Do you keep them there all the time? Oh, no, just these cold nights. After all, some of these posh ladies with fancy dogs keeps them in the bedrooms. Lap dogs, I call them, you know what I mean? The history of it's very interesting, you know. It seems they used to keep these here dogs to collect the fleas. The fleas? Ah, that's right. It seems fleas were more interested in dogs than ladies. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds a very tall story to me. Me, hey, it's right. I read it in a book. Ah, right, we are. I'm sorry to push you off, Alf, but I want him out of the way before the seal gets back. You know how it is. Aye, I know. Well, uh, good day, Mrs. Um... Burgess. Good day. Aye. Well, we'll, uh, we'll settle up after, shall we, Harry? Aye, all right, though. Either a grand looking pair, no mistake. Aye, they are, that. Well, I'll have to see you later on then, Harry. Aye. Aye. Come on. Well, I'll take care of them. I will, that. Don't worry. Come on. Ta ra. Ta ra, Alf. What's that? Why didn't you tell me you were going to sell them? Well, I wanted them out of the way, Alice. I don't think it was very wise. Well, that's the way you carried on. Well, I didn't think you'd do this. Well, what else could I do? I couldn't make them invisible. And if you're going to say you didn't want them out of here, you've left it, a, left it a bit late, that's all I can say. She'll blame me, you know. Well, we'll see. Well, she'll get over it. It was me that had to give them up. I wish you'd told me all the same. Oh. Did you uh, get that sewing set you're on about? I've seen him. So you know. That man with our dogs. Well, they've gone to a good home, love. I didn't want them to go to a good home. I wanted them to stop here. Well, that's not a nice thing to say, now, is it? And it's all your fault! Hey, what did I tell you about speaking to Auntie Alice like that? You see, I told you she'd blame me. One bit of lemon coming up. Is that clock right? Um, well, it can't be that much out. It takes about half past seven. Oh, sorry, I've now lost change. Oh, sorry. That's John Mackerson, been in. John Mackerson? Oh, yes, I know who you mean. No, he hasn't been in tonight, otherwise I'd have seen him. Oh. Here's your change. Are we expecting to meet him here? Uh, no, just one doesn't. Uh. Christine Arben over here. It is. And she looks as if she could do with some cheering up. Oh, does she now? That man better do something about that, eh? And what do you think you could do about it? Oh, I don't know. I've got a way with girls that want cheering up, you know. Oh, listen to the conceit of the man. All right. If you don't believe me, just watch this. Eh? Hello. <laughs> Anyone sitting here? Well, if they are, they must be invisible. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, thanks. What makes you think I want company? Are you expecting something, then? No, well, I should have been expecting somebody. Oh, no, I just thought you might be, you know. Ah, well, you know what thought did, don't you? I'm very sorry, I'm sure. 
I'll park myself somewhere else. Name Bob. I'm just going. Huh. Well, thanks for the polite conversation. Well, that certainly puts you in your place. Oh, got into it. Well, I'd say it's the main cause of every woman's trouble. Men. How do you know? Well, apart from intuition and experience, she spent over half an hour before she asked me if Joe Makinson had been in yet. If he asked me anything, that young man has stood her up. Oh, right. Well, I'll just give me shoes a bit of a rub up and then I'll be with you. Ah. I say, that suit's a bit of all right, isn't it? Well, this sauce is nothing. I'm working up to a different one every night. Well. Of course, when you're in show business, you've got to keep up appearances. I dare say you have, ah, yeah. Are you sure it's all right me coming out with you? Don't worry, boy, you'll be all right with me. Yeah. Yeah, this is real living, is this business. It'll make plumbing look a bit dim. I've never been in a nightclub before. Oh, don't tell everyone that, for heaven's sake. You'll be able to stop with me, won't you? Oh, well, I've got to make the announcements. You know, you'll be enjoying yourself, but I'm working. Yeah. yeah. Do you have right time? Oh, it's coming on nine. It's early yet. Yeah. Had a date. You'll copy then, won't you? Oh, well, you see, I forgot about it. You know, when I made this date with you, like. Oh, why didn't you put it off? What, until I'm going out to a nightclub with you? It's more than my life's worth. Hey, you, you, you won't say out to anybody, will you? you won't... What, me tell on a friend? Right, we're off. Uh, uh, hey, do, do you mind if we go out back, Rody? What for? Well, we don't want to bump into her, do we? You know, I mean, I'm not bothered or anything like that, you know, but we don't start the night off on the wrong footing, do we? All right, back door it is. Right. right. Oh, haven't you gone yet? Oh, we just off. Come on. Good night, Mrs. Tanner. Good night. Oh, don't stand there, Harry. Come in. Oh, thanks, Ossie. That's the first time I've seen them two together. Which two? Joe Mackinson and our Dennis. Perhaps oh. they're going to that nightclub or whatever it is. Hey, what was it you said you wanted? Oh, a couple of aspirins, if you've got them. Huh? If I've got them, we buy them with the groceries in this house. Uh, I've got a bit of headache coming on, you know. Aye. Uh, should think so. I've got one too. What with Ivan and I'll end up moving into number nine on Wednesday. Yeah. From what I've heard, you've got more than a bit of a headache. Right, well, well, we've all got us troubles, love. Uh. Yeah, I don't know. You know, I never thought that had ever happened. So Harry's got rid of his whippets after yeah. all that time. It's come to a pretty pass for him to do that. At last, I'll have to cheer him up when he comes in. Uh, where's the new potman tonight? Oh, Ivan. Oh, he doesn't move in till next week, you know. They're still living over at other place. Ah, you'll not be able to move in here when he gets started, you know. Well, how do you mean, Yeah, they'll have all the young girls in the neighbourhood in here. He's a fairy looking bloke, is him, you know. It's not the young girls we'll have to look out for, it's the old ones we'll have to watch. <laughs> 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 You're not talking about Ina Sharples, maybe, Oh, I reckon Irene's got a plate pulled just now. Hey, it was right enough what you said last week. She is being turned out of the mission hall. Well, I think it's a shame. We all know what she is, but I'm poor. she is an old woman. Well, I reckon it's time she began to act like one. It's like a blooming army on the march when she gets on the rampage. She's a very difficult person, is Eno, and that's putting it mildly. Uh, excuse me. Oh. It takes all sorts to make a world. Oh, that's true. Hello, Mr. Tatler. What are you having? Hey, I, I won't bother if you don't mind. Oh. I've just popped in to have a few words with you, as a matter of fact. I'm a bit worried, like. Oh, what's the trouble now? Eno Sharple. <laughs> what did I tell you? What's she been up to this time? She hasn't been up to anything that I know of. No, it, it's this other business. I never thought we'd lose her a job. That's exactly what I said, Mr. Tatlock. Yeah, things have gone a bit too far. And if you ask me, the committee have only done this because they thought we wanted them to. Now, we've got to make it plain to them that we didn't. What do you reckon we ought to do about it, Mr. Tatlock? Well, that's what I've come in about. I, I don't rightly know. But I think we ought to do some it. So do I, Mr. Tatlock. So do I. Mm -hmm. 